Greetings again. Here we go. Another Dusty Groove unboxing. Pre cut. Let's do this. Yay. All right. Okay. Now. Oh, CD first. Did get one CD. Nice and cheap. Cheap and cheerful. But hey, saves me money. We used. Miles Davis milestones and like what's that 50 something 57 or something I don't know mid maybe even earlier da, 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 da. does it even say well you know it's about 57 I think anyway best value it is two dollars US all right let's get into the vinyl here we go. Let's kick some sweet late 70s funky stuff with Slave. Just a touch of love. Thanks, Chan. So glad you're a superstar, Chan, by putting your name on it. Oh, that's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, what is it? No mucks, very good. Look, it's got the classic Just a Touch of Love. Um, it's a fantastic song. Some of the other stuff will be okay. Um, it's late 70s, what is it, 78, 79 or something, maybe, maybe, 79, there you go, Cotillion Records, look, I do steer away from that stuff a bit, but hey, Just a Touch of Love is a great track, um, I'll give the rest a go, all right, next, oh, reish time, ah, I love my, getting up my, Black Jazz label, uh, reissues while well, I can, especially when it's only, you know, very reasonable. 16, brand new. Henry Franklin, The Skipper at Home. The 1974 Black Jazz Classic. Uh, but still, you know, sealed new. 1974. I go mad for the Black Jazz stuff while I can. Get it while I can. So those prices will be going up, I reckon. Uh, oh, speaking of which, this one is not quite new, but it would be. Well, it is one of the reissue ones, but somebody's probably only had it for a day. I don't know. Second Coming, Rudolph Johnson, $12 because it's near mint minus. This is part of the new reissue series anyway, but somebody's obviously bought it. Not appreciated it for whatever reason. Got rid of it. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe it was just... Maybe the seal was just open and they dropped the price. I don't know. Hopefully that'd be even better. Um, there you go. 73. So all that very short run. Black jazz stuff in the early 70s. Next. Ooh, this one is still sealed. In early 70s. Little Royal. Jealous. Uh, Little Royal, I think, did a bit of a... Uh, James Brown take, as a lot of people did. Still sealed for 15 US. Um, so it's OG. So that should be very interesting. Funky sort of R&B stuff. Um, can't remember the exact year. It's early 70s. There you go, 72. Um, But that's really cool. Nice little. Next, get some kudu action, early ish kudu action. Bit of Hank Crawford. I mean, he's all right. I don't mind some Hank Crawford. Sometimes a bit hit and miss, but you know, it is kudu. It is $5. So, you know, very good plus $5. Come on. And it's on kudu early. Kudu 8. Uh, arranged, conducted by Don Sebesky and Bob James. James. Uh, we've got a good thing going. So that's early 70s. What's that? 72 or something? Maybe? 70. I'm trying to remember. Yes, yeah, 70. Or recording in 72. So it might have been released 72, maybe 73. Um, anyway, five bucks. 
sure there's some good stuff. Next one is a nice little um, 60s surprise. I sussed this record out and went, wow, this is good stuff. It's a live one by John Handy, who I you know, don't really hear of. And it's a live one at the Monterey Jazz Festival, and it was only five bucks. Very good plus. Cover's got a bit of wear, but hey. And it's on Columbia, but the thing is, this has got some really avant-garde, almost early fusion sound from about 1965 or something like that. It's going to say, is it going to say? See there, Columbia. Oh, uh, nice right up. Da, 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 da. I'm trying to remember the year, but anyway, it's like mid 60s, but it sounds. It sounds like it should be later, but it's like a precursor for some of the later stuff, to be honest. And there's only two tracks, but yeah, it's really interesting. Really, really interesting, really good listen. Uh, and again, you can kind of hear it's like a precursor to the later stuff, you know, what they went more jazz fusion -y and stuff. Um, sort of avant garde, but anyway, yeah, looking forward to hearing that again, but on vinyl. And uh, thanks, AEB, you're a legend, obviously, because you, know, you can put your name on. Uh, next, that's John Handy. Next. Let's get back to some CTI goodness with Hubert Laws in the beginning. Now, this is the two LP set. Ah, uh, look, I do have, they did split this into, what was it? Then there was light and another one off, whatever. I do have one of them, but not both. So I had to sort of bite the bullet and get one of them twice, if that makes sense, just to get the other one. But it is in the nice, chunky, tell you what, this is a heavy unit if you could feel heavy unit in the beginning um cti i oh, forget which year it's early 70s it's like, i think it's like about 73 or something um but look cubit laws cti two lp eight bucks and very good plus so yeah you know that's a good bargain all right, speaking of which, here we go, Grant Green. Grant Green. Green is beautiful. Yeah, I love that color. It's a great color. On Blue Note, this is a reissue. Again, somebody's bought it and brought it back or whatever. I don't know, because it's near mint minus, unless they've opened it or something. It looks pretty spanky new. Looks spanky new, just out of plastic, really. Oh, you look at the back too, really just spanky new. Um, it's late 60s, about 69 or something. I might be wrong. Um, I don't know what it says. Does it say? Oh, they 70. January 30th, just in 70. So that's good, yeah. Um, so 1970, and Funky Now from James Brown, Day in the Life, Beatles. Um, so yeah, Grant Green's starting to get even funkier. Um, and look, we've got Blue Mitchell on trumpet. Uh, who else we got? We've got, uh, Neil Craig on organ, on, uh, Jimmy Lewis, Fender bass, Idris Muhammad. Yeah. On drums. Lovely. So you get the idea. That'll be great. That'll be a great edition and lastly well you know i love my crusaders slash jazz crusaders this is still jazz crusaders powerhouse cover seen a bit of better days but hey very good still for only four bucks see four dollars but um i still like jazz crusaders from the jazz crusaders i think they're still very very un underrated this should be a pacific jazz i believe should be on Pacific Jazz. Um, Powerhouse. Uh, can't remember the date. I think it's it's late sixties. Let me open this one up. It does have a gatefold, I think. I hope it does. That's cool. A little bit stainy, but hey, 
but we had to unpack the year. Maybe the year. Well, come on, year. Where's the year? It's not going to tell me, is it? I'm pretty sure it's late 60s. Maybe that's 67, 68, or something like that. I think. But anyway, whichever way. Um, I do like my Jazz Crusaders. They can smack it sometimes really nicely. Um, but anyway, other nice Jazz Crusaders to my growing collection. Well, there you have it. Until next time. Rock on.